use a Black & Decker string trimmer, which takes these cartridges. You can buy them already spooled up for uh, about $6, which isn't too bad, but uh, honestly, considering the amount of string that's on them, it adds up. Uh, so when you have some in empty cartridges, you can re-spool them yourself. Doing it by hand is difficult, uh, but I made a jig here that you can either clamp in a vise, it's thick enough base, you can use a C-clamp to hold it down to something, or you can screw it to a board. I also have a little loader here so that you can take this, chuck it up in a drill, and use that to drive so you don't even need to sit there and hand crank. So let me get this attached to a board and get some string set up and uh, demonstrate. Okay, so I got this guy screwed down to a little board. Uh, I gave you four holes, you don't even need them really, but they're there. Um, and you can wind either way, it's basically symmetric. I just screwed this thing down with a single screw uh, so it can kind of flop, but you can pull it off if you need to. Now if you look at this, the, the way they've done it is they give you like a starter hole and kind of a thing to cinch off, which is really nice. And then once you're done wrapping, you can put it in here to help hold it. So they come taped, but you don't even need that. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and take this string. Start off in one of these holes. There we go. Go down. And then that locks it off nicely and then you can come in here and then you're going to need to put your drill in reverse but this sits in here and don't go don't go real fast you can you can set it in the lowest setting don't go rock and roll and then just kind of as it goes along help kind of roll it up and down up and down so you get a consistent wind That's about full. And I may have put a little too much on there, which is okay. Come back it off. And then, yeah, a little too much. So let's take a few wraps off here. There we go. So it's not super clean, but it was quick and easy. And now what you can do is you just snip it off, which I completely forgot to have a pair of scissors and then just poke it through the hole. As long as you're not peeking past so bad uh, that it won't go in, then you'll be fine. So go ahead and load a couple of these and then you'll be good for a whole season or two.